It's a boy. The bond between any canine handler and their dog is um, it's hard to explain. It's 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 really hard to explain, but you know, we know what the feeling is. You know, we wake up and we look in that dog's eyes and we know, hey, it's time. Let's go. We go we we get we get that call. He he hears it. He hears our car car number, one one seventeen. Ears perk up. And you know, you know, you look at him and you know he's ready. I think the K9 unit is, pro is is the most important unit when you're out, out on the road. Um, unlike normal road patrol, K9 unit, we're called out to so many different types of calls. You know, finding uh, elderly that walk away, juveniles that walk away, um, even like younger kids that are two, three years old that walk away because the parents are, are asleep, we can go out and, you know, locate them. Narcotics, we can get narcotics out of the street. Special, other special units contact us. They need us to run, run a car. So the importance of canines spans through so much. And, it, and it's not even what, what we do on the road. It's especially community, community policing. You know, you drive by, you see some kids playing outside, start talking to them, talk to them about the dog. The dog can change someone's life by just, by just that interaction. The importance of ongoing training. Uh, when the dogs are going through the academy, they're trained every single day. That's, that, that's all they live for, right? So the, the trainers wake up, train those dogs. So when they come out of the academy, we have to keep that training going. Because if we just let the dogs sit and not do anything, they're just gonna start to forget it, right? So we, we have to hone in their skills every single week. Even on non-training days, we're, we're training our dogs. We're training narcotics and tracking. We, we try to do it all, but you got to keep that going because you got to keep them being a well-oiled you know, well machine. We call them pointy-ear dogs. We use a lot of pointy-ear dogs because they have to be good at everything all around. Whereas the hunt dogs, the German short hairs and the labs, they're good at hunting. And we teach them to hunt for odor. So it's, that's why we use the dogs we use. There's a bond that's, it's like, an, um, it's like an unbreakable bond. Like I said before, you could offer me any, any amount of money and I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't give up my dog, I wouldn't give up, give up my position. It's been the best time of my life. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, humans have, have, have fear, right? You have fear of going to a dark place, going to a certain call. That dog has no fear. At the end of the day, that dog's going to put his life on the line for you without even knowing without even knowing what the consequences are going to be. So that bond is an unbreakable bond at the end of the day.